hey y'all it's your girl trish welcome back to my channel for another video if you guys are new here welcome and if you guys are not new here welcome to my channel so in today's video i want to share with you guys my most recent perfume purchases i have bought a little bit of perfume some hot some um designer ones and some more affordable ones so we're just gonna get into it so that i'm not keeping you guys too 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 long but before we get into the video as always Please be sure to subscribe to this channel if you like all things beauty and lifestyle related. And please be sure to check me out on my TikTok at I am Trisha Love and check me out on my Instagram at XL Beauty Haven. So, and always, there, everything, all my socials are always listed down in the description bar, um, the description area of the box. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, yes, we gonna get into these, per these uh, perfumes, y'all. So, we're going to do the more, like, I guess, designer ones first, and then we'll do the more affordable ones afterwards. So, the first one that I picked up was the new release of the Victor and Rolf collection. I did went ahead and pick up the Ruby Orchid. This is the box that it come, that it came in. I do keep my boxes, and it's crazy because I don't display them. I just keep them or whatever. I do need to find a way to display them. Um, but, yes, so I got this one here. And I picked it up in the one point, the one point seven fluid ounce. This is what this gem looks like. She is so pretty. I love the ruby color. It's almost the same color as Bomb Bomb, but Bomb Bomb. The bottle's a little bit more purple. This one is red. Okay, look at this gorgeous color of this bottle. Look at the packaging. So cute. And of course, they it's their signature flowers at the side of the bottle. But we're gonna get into the notes. So this one is described as a warm floral. This one has keynotes of vine peach, ruby orchid, and bourbon vanilla. This one is so juicy, y'all. It's so juicy. If you love like fruit, like uh fruity uh fragrances, you're gonna love this. This is gonna be your cup of tea. It's really, really fruity, it's really, really warm. I think the vanilla, because I don't I don't pick up too much of the vanilla bourbon, but I feel like the the the, the that the vanilla makes it a little bit more warm and warm mine. So it's like a like it's like the what the name says is a warm floral floral, but because of like I said, because of the um vanilla, it makes it a little bit more warm and fruity and stuff. So yes, it's just really, really cute i love the bottle and it smells so good y'all i wore this i want to say because i bought this i bought this the week of christmas it was the, a couple of days before christmas when i bought this and i wore this to our um you know to this little christmas uh i, I wore this out and it, it just smells so good y'all it smelled really really good i got compliments all day on this perfume it smells really really good so the next purchase that i made recently i bought this perfume i want to say it was the week after christmas when i bought this perfume the week after christmas but before new year so i went ahead and i got y'all ready volse viva intense by valentino i really 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 love valentino perfumes i really really want to really really want to get yellow dream next because i do have born in roma already so i really really want to get the yellow one next because that one smells so nice and fresh and i love my fresh scents, y'all but this is what the bottle looks like i dig i love this perfume so much to the point where i got the 3.4 and most of my perfumes i have in the 1.6 or the 1.7 so i got the big baby of this but i, I got the big the big the big daddy <laughs> of the uh, of this perfume here so it's so pretty so so pretty i love the gold liquid i love how like it's like a 3d type bottle it's so pretty um it has like a little uh it has like a little design at the top it's so cute y'all it's just really really cute but we gonna get into the notes we gonna get into the notes this one is also described as a warm floral this one has keynotes of italian bergamot orange blossom absolute crystal moss accord it also has um vanilla in this perfume as well and it's it's in, in my opinion it's heavy heavy on the vanilla it has a warm vanilla scent really really um it's not super strong but it still stands out if that makes sense so if you're a vanilla lover you will love this scent here i, I love this one here so i like i said this is the intense version this is not the original um Volsavia. really really love this one it's probably one of my favorite ones out of the bunch that i have 
I got here is Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. I've been having my eyes on this perfume, y'all, for the longest. And I finally went ahead and got it. And I got this one in the 1.6 bottle. And this is what she looks like. She is so cute, y'all. Look at the top. Oh, my gosh. I love me some Marc Jacobs perfumes, y'all. Um, I do want to get... this. two other ones I really want to get. This is my, my fourth my fourth um, Marc Jacobs perfume that I have in my collection. Um, but I had to get this one because, I, like I said, I've been having my eye on this one. We're going to get into the notes. This one is also described as a warm florals. We're on a roll here with these warm florals, y'all. Um, this one has notes of daffodil, night blooming jasmine, and sandalwood. It also, in the description, it says that it has um, roasted almonds that blends well with the sandalwood. And honestly, that's all I smell in this perfume is almonds and sandalwood. I really don't smell the floral aspect in this perfume. I smell more so the almond and the sandalwood. Anything with like... Uh, out like any type of like nut scent or like um sandalwood any type of like woody scent i'm going to get it because i love like warm scents especially warm creamy scents in that in that sense and this one is a warm like creamy with a little bit of almond like just a warm creamy scent y'all i just i love it it's, be per it's perfect for the winter so 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 cute and i cannot wait to wear this perfume All right, y'all. So the next perfume I got, y'all, 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 y'all. This perfume here is it. It is it, is giving me what it needs to give because this one here is it. I love it. I picked up the Lavi S Bell Soleil Crystal. It's not the original one because I do not like the original one. There's a lot of hype around the um. The original one, if you like it, you like it, but I it, it just really was not my cup of tea. But this one here, the Soleil Crystal, it smells so good. Y'all, this is what the bottle looks like. She is so cute. I love, like, the different iridescent colors in this bottle. It's so cute. And, of course, I got this in the 1.7. She's so cute. I love, I, I love a good packaging, y'all. I love a good packaging. We're going to get into the notes. So this one is also described as a warm floor, you guys. <laughs> this one has top notes of mandarin oils, middle notes of white iris, ylang ylang essence, the base of Madagascan bourbon vanilla, and sunny coconut accord. This one is sweet. It's sweet, it's warm. This one, in my opinion, is, um, is sweeter than the original. Um, the vanilla note is really heavy in this one. The coconut in this one is really, really heavy. Um, the mandarin a little bit. I can smell the mandarin a little bit, but I do not get the, um, the floral in this one. I don't smell it. I don't smell the floral, but I do get the coconut and vanilla and the, uh, the citrus. This one just smells so good, y'all. Y'all just need to go and, like, just sniff it. Sniff it, and, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's so good. I cannot wait to wear this perfume. She's so good. So, um, I got this one, and I got Perfect Intense from Ulta. This one, I, I was looking on the Sephora website. This one is not sold at Sephora in my state, which is Texas. Um, so, I did pick this one up from Ulta. Now, I got Flower Bomb and I got Volse Viva Intense from, um, I got this one from Sephora, actually, and I got this one from Macy's. Um, so now we're going to just get into the more affordable perfumes that I picked up recently. The first three I'm going to get into are the three from Zara. I do have other Zara perfumes that I have not shown you guys here on this channel, of course, but um, I will show you guys the three that I've picked up recently. Alright y'all, so the first perfume that I have here from Zara is Femme. I really, really love this perf this uh this fragrance. This is actually a toilet and not a perfume. Um, this one has notes of peony, vanilla, and musk. This one is really, really fresh, really, really cozy. This is for uh, is perfect for everyday wear. This is perfect for um, nighttime. If you want something, if you want something that's clean and this clean and just you know clean but still smell like really, really good. This is this is it, and I really, really love. Aside from like sweet like scents and like vanilla scents, I really, really love me a good fresh set this one like i said is really really clean um you just smell fresh and clean and you just it's like a pretty like a pretty um 
floral but fresh if that makes sense so yes definitely 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 like this one once this one once i'm out of this bottle because this is the um how big is this bottle this is not the big bottle i can't really tell at the, at the bottom but it's the, this is a small bottle so once this one is finished i will get another bottle so yes really really love this one here all right y'all so the next bottle that i got here from zara um perfume, um, perfume is the um from the zara emotions um i picked up tuberous noir this one is not talked about a lot i really really like this one it's really fresh it's slightly it's not it's slightly mature but it's not too mature um i feel like if you're my age or slightly older or slightly younger you will still like this perfume because it's, it's just really really like um it's it's mature but it smells really <clears throat> it smells really really good y'all i promise you it smells really really good um and i'm 26 so yeah this one has uh -oh. all right y'all so this one has notes of elaine elaine tuber rose and sandalwood so this is like a pretty woody scent if you love woody scents you will love this one this um particular scent here and this one is a part of the collection with um joe malone so yes definitely had to pick up this one so good i wore it today and it lasted on my skin for like hours all right y'all and the next perfume here the last perfume actually that i got from zara is the infamous ebony wood y'all so i had went oh lord y'all i went all the way to dallas just to get this uh perfume because we don't have i don't have a zara hair here in my city so i went all the way to dallas to go to zara to actually smell ebony wood because there was a lot of hype about this scent and it was a lot of um contra there was a little bit of controversy around this scent too so i was like you know what i'm gonna go smell it because if i don't like it i'm not getting it and i didn't want to blind buy it offline so this one has notes of pink pepper clove and ebony wood i didn't expect to like this one um but the ebony the like the wood the woodiness in this perfume really draw drew me towards this perfume is a sweet woody scent is really really nice if you love your woody scents you will love this but i'm pretty sure, sure you if you haven't already pretty sure most of you guys have already picked up ebony one it, ebony wood is a really really nice gorgeous scent all right y'all so the next two perfumes are from mixed bar um i'm really late on the um late on getting the actual perfumes because i just do only have the body mist back there i have five of the body mist i went ahead and picked up two of the perfumes to the ones i really really like there's one more i really want to get but we're going to get into the two that i have so the first one i have here is woody elixir i really really love this scent it's a warm woody scent um it's really really comfort comforting perfect for this time of the year um this one has this one has notes of fruity berries rhubarb seductive cat and seductive cashmere woods it also has notes of lemon lily of the valley and patachui um this one is really really woodsy um a really really woodsy warm scent with a little bit of floral i do really love it the dry down is perfect and i have not tried pairing it with the body mist yet but i will do that and see how i like the wear but this by itself i know it's gonna like it's gonna hold its own um the body mist too like if you have the body mist the body mist performs really good as well so the next perfume i'm gonna get into is the infamous vanilla bourbon i really really been enjoying the scent since i bought the body mist and i had to pick this perfume up i'm really late on getting this one because initially um when i first like got a when i still when i first heard about this scent and when i got the mist they didn't have no perfumes like tiktok was selling this perfume out like crazy so <laughs> i couldn't i couldn't get it for a while but now that the you know everything is kind of like died down now they're like fully in stock now so had to definitely pick up vanilla bourbon this one really here is really really it's that grown and sexy vanilla it's not that sweet sweet gourmand vanilla that we're used to it's a grown and sexy vanilla with uh that warm toastiness from the bourbon to it so this one has notes of mellow oak infused bourbon golden amber apple blossom black pepper and of course vanilla 
So yes, you cannot go wrong with this scent if you guys love vanilla scents. If you like Bonfire Fashion Bath and Body Works, if you like vanilla um bare vanilla untamed you will love vanilla bourbon because this is that grown and sexy um scent and this scent here on my skin it lasts all day with the even like with when i wear when i use when i wear the um body mist it lasts all day on me so yes yeah, so i'm definitely gonna be pairing both of them together so we can make some magic with this scent here so that is it y'all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have been buying perfumes lately or been on some some type of perfume binge let me know some let me know some of the perfumes that you guys have bought it down in the comment section so i can see what you guys been buying but until then i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah.